Hey guys, this is Sunil here from Cloud Foundation and you're welcome to this session. So this session, in this session we will talk about Blue Prism. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this is what the tool is, Blue Prism. So why are we talking about Blue Prism? Because it's, uh, it's, it's an RPA tool and it's one of the best and the most simplest RPA tools to learn. Now, uh, uh, RPA when I mean say, this is what is RPA, Robotics Process Automation, in which we have Blue Prism. We have uh, UiPath, we have a lot of stuff, uh, automation, automation anywhere, all right? So many other tools are there, but in this session, we're gonna be talking about Blue Prism. So let's get started. So this is what the tool is, this is how it looks like, and you see the this is the studio, control, dashboard, releases, system. Um, I'll just give a short introduction on all of those things. So first of all, this studio, you can create something called as processes, objects, I'll come to that. And uh, you have control where you can see a lot of activities, reporting, stuff like that. And in the home page also, you can see a lot of uh, stuff. You see total number of automation, the queue volumes in case you have created, uh, which we normally use in the real time projects and then the workforce availability and you can see the licensing details, the audit, the workflows, many other stuff. Now what I'll do is, um, I, if you remember I told you that this is a very simple tool to learn. This, this is quite a simple tool, okay, all right, simple and it's quite robust, right? So let's get started. Uh, what, I, what we'll do is I will just show you a very simple thing. So uh, let's say, uh, what exactly is a process? Process is the most basic thing. So if you want to do something, so someone said, okay, I have to do something in Blue Prism. So normally what they do is they create processes and objects. So processes are the most basic thing. They're just, uh, they're pretty much like mappings you have in most of the tools, all right? Now let's create a process, then we'll understand. Uh, let me just say a calculation process. Uh, let's just say calculation and just finish. All right, so this is my basic process. What does it do? Uh, whatever you program it for, that's what it'll do. Now, what we'll do is, uh, let's do a very basic tag. All right, so this is the process, the start, the end. And to create a very basic one, I'll just say start, and end, and I'll just save it. So, just a say. You can just say anything. Uh, I bet in the projects, you must give this comments very carefully, but since it's just a testing thing, so I'm just scribbling. All right, now done. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just try to run it. You can see here, start and. So this is the most basic process that you can get. All right, now let's, let's do something real. Let's do something that does something. Uh, let's just say, let's do some calculation like we do in uh, plain mathematics. Let's try to automate it. So to do that, what I'll do is I will add something called as uh, data items. So two plus one, how much is that? Three. Okay, let's just see that in the tool, right? Now, two data items I just created and one more. Then um, I'll, I just, just, just want to do a basic calculation, right? So let's just do a calculation and go back to the pointer. All right, now just uh, name it. Uh, variable a just say a uh, it's a number current value I'll just say one and this one is one let's make it very very simple you don't have to complicate things b uh, number and two two done and three three I will just say result all right so it's result and it's also a number so let's not give any value to that. Uh, it's done. You have to reset it. So uh, resetting, I will talk about that later, but just uh, just reset it. So just go here, uh, give a link. So, and then give a link. All right, now open this thing. And what we want to do, we want to add these two things, right? So what we do is go here, uh, drag it, uh, say plus, and drag this. And we want to store the result in the result, right? So drag the result here, all right? And then just say, okay, all right? It's quite simple. 
Now it's done. Save it. Uh, okay, just to give anything. Save changes. Now let's try to run this thing. You will understand what we're doing. See here in the result, we don't have anything. We have null. I mean zero. I mean not even zero, nothing. So let me run this thing. Let's see what happens. Oh, can you see something? What do you see here? Three. So one plus two, three. So it was a very, very basic thing. You might be thinking that, okay, this this stuff that you explain is stupid because it's not useful. See, uh, it's useful. First of all, it's just a calculation thing that I've implemented. Plus, we will see a lot of advanced things. I just uh, don't want to complicate things on the first uh, day of the tutorial itself. We'll be learning a lot on the applications, how to automate the SAP applications and how to automate uh, in the mainframe systems, how to pull the data and automate the stuff. There are many things. Um, in fact, automation is so, uh, it's, it can be implemented anywhere. You cannot even imagine. I mean, in fact, there was a time when giant companies used to, on, used to implement automation. Not now, not now. Now, very small basic companies, even if, uh, startups they go with automation they want to automate everything that uh, they have so anything means literally anything let's say we, I, I, I'm hiring five guys and they are doing some uh, manual stuff entering validating I want to automate everything I want to automate the shit out of everything why because when you automate something you have all of you you know what is it is cost cutting so I have to hire less guys now i don't have to hire uh, thousands of uh, people that's one thing and second thing what's more important is is the accuracy you will see um the it, it'll be 100 percentage accurate that is there are no chances of any manual mistakes or errors right so that gives a, a higher edge um, uh, to the company all right so these are the reasons why you see the, uh, the market of RP is quite booming, quite hot, and you will see for next five to 10 years, I would say it's like automation is something that should be taught in high schools because it's, it's mandatory for everyone. I would say even the farmer has to learn it because he has to automate a lot of manual stuff that he's doing, okay? So now let's get back to the uh, blue prism. This was one of the basic things. Now uh, to see other stuff, so see here, <clears throat> sorry. So, see this, now we have objects. What exactly are objects? Objects are nothing but, uh, these are uh, like kind of very similar to the processes, but you can create reusable objects and you can call them in the processes. You will see this is very, very useful, especially there are many objects that are provided by default, like the Excel sheet. So if you want to access an Excel sheet application, or let's say Word application, or any uh, basic stuff, then you will see that the object is quite useful. Now let's say if I create an object, create object, and uh, let's just say test object, right? Uh, next, finish, all right? And uh, see here. So you can create a lot of things. You can, uh, the most important thing, the application modeler, you can go here and do a lot of uh, recording stuff, recording a, you can see a window based application. Uh, what a window based application means is anything. So anything that is there in window, any application, let's say VLC player, Windows Media Player, can be anything, right? And browser-based application, uh, it's Internet Explorer. So uh, Mozilla stuff like that are not supported yet. Probably down the line they will be, but not yet. And uh, Java-based application, mainframe-based applications, all right? So we're going to be talking about these things in the later phases. Don't want to complicate it, but um, it's quite easy and quite simple to learn. It's a very uh, basic tool. So and uh, we'll be talking about object studio very soon in the next series now if you see here then uh, some other stuff like um, i mean see the reporting in blue prism is also quite good compared to other tools you can see automation i would say blue prism is something like it's an army of bots if you're not sure what what's a bot bot is a computer program which is just like a human being I mean, a human does it less efficiently, whereas a bot is, is a machine, right? So it's quite good to create. Now, and you can see here the auditing processes as well as, well as the security, the word queues, which are quite important, 
we will see what exactly are what cues but they are very, they are very important uh, in some companies where it's implemented it's not implemented in all but yeah uh, it's quite important and resource pool also there's a concept of the servers so many many things are there it's quite advanced in terms of uh, um, uh, the scaling you can say you can scale it up to any level so it's quite uh, advanced in terms of that um, I think I'll, I will stop here right now so I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video just just let me know right so you you just like it comment it share it thanks guys I'll be coming up with next tutorial series so hold on hang on thank you very much for listening